Hey, good afternoon everyone. Riley Foster, Foster's Custom Steel. Today in the shop, can you believe this? I normally wouldn't have taken this in, but it's a neighbor of mine lives just a little bit up the road. This was uh, come out of a Ford, it's a little V6, and I assume that they're either tough to find or expensive. As you can see, really bad 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 crack oh my goodness I have welded cast iron before I have welded cast iron manifolds and blocks it's not easy um, hopefully some years of experience will rule the day here but this is one of those tall ups just inside this metal jacket are nodules and this is on the cooling side. Obviously, that's why it broke. It said it didn't have antifreeze in it, there's just water. So I drilled it right there to stop it before it gets to that uh, freeze plug and, and port. So I'm gonna to try to weld this thing and you're not gonna believe with what. I normally would not do this, but I know if I heat this up with a torch and try to weld it with a nickel rod, it's going to get well it's going to fail such a big wafer this is a four inch i mean that's that's easy that's easily four inch circular hole broke out of there and i do not know what's under this side because i can't get my hand or a light or anything there i know this dead ends at the top it's thicker here and thinner down here and obviously right there at that port I don't know if this is going to work, but I am going to try, and I have welded cast iron with this welder before. I'm going to use this, well, they call it, call it easy MIG, but it's, it's just a Lincoln welder, 140, with flux core wire. Now, a lot of welders are going to shake their head and say, that is not going to happen. And normally, under circumstances, I would say, I first of all, wouldn't have taken it in. But it, there's a reason for that. And number two, again, if I heat this up with a torch, I think it's, going to con I think it's just going to completely snap that circle off. And he will be no worse off, but obviously no better off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where I made that hole and I'm going to weld small sections and as I weld around half inch stitch all the way around to the bottom and I'm going to take it past that circle and then I'm going to let that cool just a little bit and I'm going to come back and what I'm hoping is I'm not going to heat up such a large area that it'll bust. What I want to do is I want to seal it up so that it doesn't leak. It's not compression, it's the water jacket side of this motor. If I can get it to where it doesn't leak, there's no pressure on it. As you know, it's just water pump circulating liquid coolant. So that's what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna get this camera set up on my tripod and we're gonna see where this takes us. Come along, go with me. Hey, remember, share, like comment and all that good stuff uh let me know where you're from i've been asking for the last couple of videos and i'm going to continue i don't want your address just let me know what state you're in or what country or even what hemisphere hold on one second all right guys we're going to give this a try i've got it set up lincoln has a b c and d for the heat regulation regulator on this and I got it set on B which is low to medium and the wire speed I got set on low uh, I guess I think it's like four out of ten and right now I'm just kind of guesstimating to see if this will puddle up and even start working so I'm gonna give it a try and let's see where this takes us So I'm going to cut the heat back a little bit and the wire back a little bit. That did not feel bad. 
this feels a little bit hot. Actually, I'm going to leave the heat on B and just cut the wire back. See if I can get a little bit more of a puddle. And I'm going to try to keep this as cleaned off. And again, what I'm trying to do mainly is just get it to where this water jacket does not leak. Let's see what that does for me. Alright, so that's not terrible. I think I may have been able to stop that crack. I'm going to get a little bit more right here where that freeze plug is. It is puddling, it is bonding. I'm going to let that cool just a little bit. Like I said, if I can avoid heating up this whole perimeter hot at one time, I'm hoping that that will keep it from cracking back open. Like I said, cast iron is a fickled... Yeah. I'm going to get one more down here on this side right over here. Let's see. Well, I gotta say, I'm gonna let that cool just a little bit. And we'll come back to it. I'm gonna paint it just a little bit. I was told by one of the guys I watched the video, this painting this takes that uh, pressure off of that flat wafer onto that big cast iron block. The shock of painting this removes a lot of that stress, the ability for it to stress crack. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm willing to try just about anything. So this ain't looking bad. If I can fix this, he can put this motor back in that vehicle. And both of us will be happy. Let's give that just a minute to cool. Yeah, I still feel the heat coming off, but it isn't it isn't like running it up to 600 degree cutting torch hot. So we'll come back to this in just a little bit. All right, guys. Hey, it's not back cool to the touch, but it is definitely not welded hot. And it so far has not cracked. I can't tell whether right here it doesn't look cracked, but I'm going to add a little bit to this bottom because I can't see it real well.
minute. I'm going to tap this thing. So I have been painting this with a chipping hammer and wire brushing it. I've got about another inch and a half of crack. A small half inch here and about an inch and a half here. And then I'm going to cool this thing slowly. Just air cool it while I'm painting it and wire brushing it. i got to say, so far it has not cracked back. And you can hear the difference between that steel. You hear the difference in that? There's a line, a cast iron casting in there. I guess where the, the crank rods or whatever goes up through there. So I have no idea exactly what's behind here. I just know that I've got to make sure that it's sealed up so that water jacket does not leak. And boy, I tell you what, if it'll stop or if it won't crack back, we've got this thing sealed up. A lot of you, a lot of you might be looking at me tapping this cast iron knowing how brittle cast iron is. But if that don't hold, then uh, it probably wasn't going to hold anyway, tapping on it. I don't beat it hard or anything. So... I see one or two spots. I'm going to try to get those right quick is right here and here. And I think, I think we might, boy, I tell you what, starting out, I had my doubts. Because like I said, I have flux core welded cast iron before, but not a motor block. I don't know if that's a hole or not. I'll check it. So we're not looking for pretty, we're looking for no leak. And any of you guys that have welded cast iron, you know how splattery and brittle and actually just difficult to work with. So I'm hoping I'm going to cut this off a second and I'll come back to it when it has a chance to cool. Because i got to say, all fingers crossed, it looks like this guy might get his motor back in one piece without a leak. And that freeze plug did not crack, so I'll check it very very close here shortly. And I'll let you in on it. All right, here is the conclusion. It has time, had time to cool to the touch. 
I get that reflection or glare off of it. I think it's better without it. So yeah, I see no crack. It did not continue on. So the freeze plug where I drilled that hole at that freeze plug stopped it. Guys, if y'all do welding and you someone says, oh, I got a cast iron motor block. Well, obviously that's not the compression side and you wouldn't weld up the compression side with that anyway. But that little welder right there, 140 Lincoln. And I chose that because I have that other little welder, but I trust this one. I've used it for years. I know the heat settings and how they feel and, and stuff like that. So remember to like and share and comment if you know somebody's trying to weld up a motor block. This guy's going to get his motor back intact and be able to put it back in his vehicle. So give me a thumbs up down there and let me know what you think about welding up a huge 4-inch broken out plug the side of a motor block. Hey, um, also, let me know where you're from. Don't want your address. I ain't sending you anything. Remember to give thanks and, and have a great day.